so welcome back guys to we talk boxing and today i'm going to be giving you guys my pulse fight initial thoughts from the fight which took place between jordan gill versus zelfa barrett now this was a good good fight for any of those boxing fans that haven't seen it um and it was a fight where both of these guys went toe to toe from round one um good competitive action from the initial opening seconds of the first round and it was a, a very intriguing fight because um, most had um, Jordan Gill probably slight favourite because of what he did to Michael Conlon in his fight before um, so Zalfa was coming into this fight obviously uh, as a big name himself but obviously most boxing fans probably had Jordan Gill slightly edging it because obviously Michael Conlon was a um, a good, good, credible and big name for Jordan Gill to have on his record. Now, as I said, the fight was very competitive from the start. Both guys went toe-to-toe -to -toe and they were landing some good shots on each other. Um, you know, I mean, my initial thoughts is that Zelfa just looked a slightly sharper than Jordan Gill at times. Um, he had good movement, a good crisp jab from him in the opening seconds of the rounds. Um, and I, I personally would have probably given, you know I mean, um, Zelfa Barrett probably the first one and two rounds, give or take. I know they were close, but I probably would have given it to Zelfa. And I'm not sure what was said in Jordan Gill's corner, but he came out from round three onwards and he was literally trying to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with um, Zelfa Barrett because he knew that Zelfa, his movement, um, his jab was, was, was causing him problems. And he, as I said, he, he, he tried to trade with um, Zelfa, but it was he, he just wasn't as sharp. But he was landing some good shots himself and... He, he looked as if he was the more aggressive fighter because he was coming forward. Whereas Zelfa was kind of on that back foot, just dropping the jab every now and again. And then a good couple of combinations, one, two hooks, and then moving out the way sort of thing. So it was quite good to see from Zelfa. And he's always had that skill, Zelfa. He's always got that good boxing ability. I just felt, you know what I mean, from my point of view, it is power sometimes that kind of lets him down. But he showed good power. Um, good boxing combination, good footwork, good speed in this fight. And inevitably, um, the knockdown, the first knockdown, probably came out of nowhere from, from my point of view because it was a crisp body shot, which as soon as it landed, Jordan Gill went straight down to the floor and he, he looked in agony. And I'm, I'm very surprised how he got up from that first initial um, body shot. And... It, it literally was from that point onwards where Zelfa thought, you know what, I've, I've got him hurt here to the body now. I'm just going to keep trying to whip some body shots down. And that was towards the end of the round. And obviously he caught him a couple more times before the bell went. But you could see that he hurt him. And that was his weak point at that point. Um, obviously they came out for the next round. And a similar sort of shot, similar sort of shot, so, shot sorry, Went straight down the middle, and this time, you know what I mean. It, again, it super, it hurt him, and he, 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 Jordan Gill did very, 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 very well to get back up onto his feet. He tried to carry on, um, but it was all pretty much Zelfa at this point. And if the referee had let it go on, potentially, Jordan Gill might have took a lot more damage, and that potentially could be him for the rest of his career. But it wasn't to be, and the referee did stop it. And I feel as if it was a good stoppage. That's my um, opinion. I feel as if it was a good stoppage because it allows Jordan Gill to come back and to maybe be in there um, against some other potential opponents. Um, and you never know what, what could happen because he's got three losses on his record. Most people didn't have him beating Michael Conlon. So it, it it's, it's quite interesting just to see where he goes. I like Jordan Gill. I feel as if he's still got something to, to give. Um, and I like his style. I like his come forward style. He's, very, he's, he's a tough, tough guy. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. Um, Zelfa Barrett, on the other hand, he's obviously calling out some of the world champions now. I feel as if this is probably about the right time for him to maybe take on a world champion. And hopefully, if he's good enough um, and he wants it enough on, on, the, on that night, could become a world champion. 
so yeah, let's wait and see what happens with Zalfa. I like Zalfa. I've got a lot of time for Zalfa. Um, and his uncle, obviously, Pat Barrett and um, Lyndon Arthur and that. They're a good team. Um, humble guys. And yeah, a lot, I like everything that they're doing. Um, and even Lyndon, I'd love to see Lyndon become a world champion at some point in the future as well. If that's possible, I don't know. Um, the only negative I'd like, I have to say for Zalfa Barrett is that He's got a lot of skill, a lot of potential. He he needs to leave it in the ring. That's the only thing I could say because there was a couple of times in that fight with Jordan Gill where I'm standing there and I'm thinking, you know what, You're, you've got much more skill than Jordan Gill. Just go out there and show it. Let your hands go. Leave everything in the ring because you don't want to finish the fight and be like, you know what, I could have done more. But that's it. That's the only negative I could probably say um, for Zalva Barrett. Anyway, brilliant display. Let's wait and see what happens next with Zelfa Barrett. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. As always, please subscribe and comment. Bless.